Welcome back to my workshop. Now today we're not doing anything in the workshop. Uh, we're going to someone's garden and we're gonna change twin water butts, okay? Uh, we're gonna get two new water butts from Wix and we're gonna do an installation of those two. So basically replacing some water butts. Okay, let's go and have a look. As you can see, I'm not in my workshop today. I'm around someone else's house. What I'm gonna do is install quickly two 210 litre water butts. Now these are from Wix, they were 38 pounds each. Let me quickly show you what you get for your money. All right, so what you basically get is the uh, 210 litre water butt. I've got two of them. Uh, now they got their own stands with them, uh, but I'm gonna be using these concrete plimps that are already there. Okay, but let me quickly show you what stands come with it. Okay, you've got your plastic top, which has got a locking mechanism, which is not very good, but it's enough to stop it blowing away. Inside, you get this little fella, which is the stand and some hose. Let me show you what that's all about. Okay, so the stand and the hose is held together with a single piece of sellotape, which is taken off. Okay, uh, it gives you some vague instructions on the side there. How difficult can it be? Looks like it comes in three sections. One, two, three. Uh, let's see if I can figure it out myself. Yeah. Well, now I assume they've just got to be put on stable ground. Uh, yeah, looks like there's little latches here. You see there's a male one there and a female one there. So they just clip together like that. Okay, yeah, I presume that's how it works. And then your butt. It's gonna sit on there like that. Yeah, so that's fair enough. That's simple enough. Obviously this has got to be mounted on a level surface. Don't start putting it on some dodgy old mud that's gonna fall over. Okay, so this is the water butt we've got, so 210 litre water butt set with tap includes filler kit. Okay, and the filler kit is this. Okay, now I'm probably not gonna be using this because it comes, uh, it's already got a drain. Let's have a look what we get here. Okay, this is a filler kit. Now this goes on an existing drain or downpipe uh, then this obviously hose fits onto it. Okay, so what you do your original downpipe, cut a section out of it, put this in line, and then what happens is the water comes down, fills up here, into here, okay, and then this bit gets put into the top of your tank. Now we're not going to be using any of that. Uh, there's some comprehensive instructions here. Let me show you what we've got instead. Okay, what we've got instead is, there's the original drain pipe, down pipe, and we've just got this. So it's basically gonna go straight into the water butt. Uh, problem with this is, once the butts are filled up, you have to empty some of it out because there's no, there's no drain off from this. Okay, so that's why we've got two butts, so it takes twice as long to fill up. Right, let's get these butts mounted on these plimps. Right, I've got both the barrels now on their plimps, uh, but looking at them, this one here is sloping backwards, yeah, quite a lot. We need these to be level, uh, so all I've done is I've cut a small piece of wood. That's going to go underneath the bottom. It's got a paving slab on top of it, so this should last, uh, just to bring it up level. Okay, level. Okay, because I've got two butts here, uh, what I want to do is I want them both to fill up. Uh, so what I'm going to do is put in one of these little link pipes, okay? And all that does, it goes in between the two tanks. So when this one fills up, it gets to a certain point, then it will start filling up the other tank, okay? So before I drill the holes to fit this, I'll make sure 
I know where I want the taps. Now, I was going to have them both at the front here, but I've just received an instruction. Uh, the one's got to be that side, and the other one's got to be that side, okay? Because if they come past here with a wheelbarrow, they could knock the tap off. Okay, so you need to know where your taps are going to be before you put this in. Okay, right, how do we put this in? Okay, so to put the uh, little link pipe in here, now this is just made up of two of these. I'm using these off of the original ones. Uh, basically, you drill a hole in the barrel, this goes in, then this nut does up on the outside, and then the link pipe goes in to the other side. So what I've got to do is, at uh, the same height on both of these, uh, make a little mark, and then drill a hole, and I'm going to use one of these, which is just a hole cutter. Uh, I think that was about seven quid from Aldi's. Uh, so hopefully I'll be able to drill a hole big enough to accept this, and then just put them together. So first thing, make a little mark. Right, so now I've got my two tappings, one on each barrel. Uh, they're hand, well, they're tight, shouldn't leak. Uh, if they do, then we can take these off later and put some tape or some silicon around it. But at the moment, I think this will be fine. Just put your little link pipe on. Now, obviously you want that to be fairly snug. Just connect the two barrels together. Go on, on you go. Okay, so there's those two together. That's where that wants to go. That's where that wants to go. Okay, so they're linked. Excellent job. Okay, so I've got the link pipe in now. Uh, all I've got to do now is cut a hole in one of the lids uh, for this. Now it's marked out underneath for a round drain, but obviously we've got a square one here just to make things difficult. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll cut a square out and basically tailor it to this one. Uh, and what I'm going to use for that is my multi-tool. <laughs> Right, I think I've cut this in the right place. Uh, all I've got to do now is fit this and then hopefully get the drain pipe back in. Uh, let's get down in the hole. Aha, right. Marvellous. Right, okay, so now I've got my hole cut in the top. Uh, I cut it approximately because I've got to try and marry up to this existing pipe. Uh, this existing pipe is not in line with the centre of this plinth, okay, which causes a bit of a problem. It makes the, uh, the barrel over to one side, but it should be okay once it's got some weight in it. Uh, right, link pipe's in, uh, both lids are on. What I'm going to do now is, that's pretty much finished, I'm just going to put a bucket of water in each of them just to give it a bit of weight, because at the minute they can still move around. If it's a bit windy, they might blow over before they're, in, they're even used. Okay, so a quick bucket of water in each of them, uh, and that should test whether or not the taps work. Let's get some water.
Right, well I thought that was going to be it. Uh, this is now working. Excellent. Let's check the other side. Okay, so this is the other tank. I uh, just went to undo it and nothing. Now this has got the same amount of water in it. Just pour about three buckets worth in there. Uh, yeah, tap doesn't work. Now I've checked up there. There's nothing blocking it up that way. Let's take the tap off and I'll show you what's wrong. Right, so let's remove this tap. Nothing. Right, why is there nothing? We look inside here. Yeah, it's not been drilled out. So uh, I've got to drill that out now. Luckily, I've got my drill with me. Uh, so I'm going to drill that out, but it's going to get wet. Right, let's go. Okay, so to uh, drill out for the uh, link pipe, I use this size drill. Okay, but what I'm going to use is a slightly smaller one. Okay, and that way I won't make the hole too big. Right, what could possibly go wrong? Get myself ready. Here's my tap. Here's my drill. Now I've got to go straight in, drill the hole, and then put this in. Excellent, like a professional. Right, I've made sure I've got all the plastic bits have washed out as well, because otherwise they'll get stuck in the tap. Right, so beware of that. Let's go and wash my hands. Right, so that's about it for this one. Uh, there's two water butts now installed, so hopefully this one will fill up. As soon as it reaches this level, it will start filling this one up. Both taps work, jobs are good. Right, hopefully you found this uh, video useful, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, it's a bit bright.